Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you through my top five favorite dumbbell only leg exercises. So today I'm wearing the brand new Women's Best Move Shorts. These are my favorite because we're entering into Australian summer soon. So it's getting super hot, especially in the Games Dungeon, which I'll be showing you all these workouts in. So if it's looking a little bit dark and dingy, that's just the Games Dungeon, so just embrace it. Um, so yes, as I mentioned, these are brand new. They are so comfy. They're easily my favorite piece um, from the women's best sportswear collection and I think they're really flattering because they're nice and stretchy too So they're perfect for doing a leg day. So I'm going to take you through these exercises I have um, don't worry about the weight so you can choose whatever weight is suitable to your own personal ability I'm using a couple of five kilos for like Bulgarian split squats and things like that Pretty much because I um, have left one of my dumbbells in the car. So <laughs> I want to obviously be even so then, then I also have a 12 and a half kilo dumbbell which I'll be using for potentially exercises that only require one dumbbell. So um, make sure to use whatever weight is suitable for you, like I mentioned, and also make sure to like and subscribe. So also, if you wanna grab this outfit, then I'm gonna link it down below and they have a range of colors. I think the blue, the gray, and the red are my favorite. They're so nice and you can mix and match the, the tops as well. So really love them. If you wanna get amongst, you can. And um, I'm also gonna put my code, my Women's Best code down below too, so you can get a nice little discount as well. So let's get amongst it. Top five would recommend adding these to your leg day. So the first dumbbell only exercise is goblet squats. You want to make sure that you're selecting a dumbbell which is suitable for your own personal ability. You can afford to go slightly heavier with a dumbbell for goblet squats as you're only using one dumbbell. You want to try to achieve as much depth as possible in your goblet squats. So try to come down nice and low so that your elbows rest between your knees. The second exercise is Romanian deadlifts, also known as RDLs. When performing Romanian deadlifts, make sure to keep your back straight, hinge at your hips, and you don't need to go all the way to the ground, just as long as you feel a slight stretch in your hamstrings, which are the muscle that runs along the back of your legs. The third exercise is sumo squats. So you just wanna make sure that you're taking a nice wide stance here with your toes slightly turned out. You're only using one dumbbell for this exercise so you can afford to go slightly heavier. Just make sure that you keep your back straight and your chest up and squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement. The fourth exercise is Bulgarian split squats. Not necessarily a fan favorite, but a very effective dumbbell only exercise. Make sure to take a wide enough stance in this position to keep yourself balanced throughout the movement. As you can see, I have my toe planted into the bench. This is just personal preference. So if you prefer to have a flat foot, you can do this. The fifth exercise is walking lunges. And I think these are extremely underrated. The key here is to make sure that you're stepping out slightly wider than your trunk just to keep stability and balance throughout this movement. Make sure to press up through the leading foot instead of using the momentum of the movement itself. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. So these are my top five dumbbell leg exercises. And obviously the most important thing to do is to follow the principle of progressive overload, which essentially means that your workouts and your exercises get more challenging as you progress throughout the program. So you'll either increase load, which is like the most common, so obviously increasing the weight that you're using each time you're performing these workouts, or at least, you know, each week. Um, so that progressive overload creates um, enough stimulus for muscle growth. So the other ways that you can achieve this, obviously with dumbbells, we don't necessarily have a huge range of options. So if you only have you know, one or two different dumbbell weights, um, then you can actually add things like, like, or you can slow down the exercise. You can add a, you know, a quarter rep or a half rep and um, things like this can actually create the same sort of effect. So progressive overload um, through repetitions, through frequency, things like this is a really good way to uh, um, get around the need for extra load. So you could potentially incorporate this in your workout programs. Um, if you 
are looking for um, more top five or you know top ten or whatever recommendations, um, please make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see. If it's maybe shoulders or um, booty exercises, love the booty exercises. Um, then make sure to comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see everyone next week. Bye.